Here we are, out in the pop in the garden again. Hey, Scooter. Oh, Scooter. He wants to get the spotlight. See how everybody's doing. He said, how y'all doing? Got a package today from Walmart. My wife must have ordered it. $152. $152 phone bill. Imagine it. I remember back in the day, it was, what, $18? $20? Wasn't much anyway. There's my uh, harness that I put on when I take Scooter to town. He rides around with me. Uh. On my shoulder. It's a shoulder pad. I don't know. It's a shoulder pad. He's a uh, companion dog now. I take him into stores and stuff like that. He just really enjoys it. Service animal. I'll get it out in a minute. Y'all bear with me. There he goes. He's running, playing, having a good time today. Get a scooter. Matter of fact, that's the way he got his name. Before I got him. Oh, I don't know how many years. A couple, uh, probably a year or two. Every time something would happen, you know, or the wife would see somebody running and First one thing to another. Shit how to go get him, Scooter. Well, it become a joke. Everything still look good in the greenhouse. It become a joke or every time she'd see that she'd give, go get him, Scooter. Well, after the little man passed away, I got... I got this... Chorky is half chihuahua and half a. Uh, I don't know what he's eating out there. Well, he's rubbing in it, so it must be some good stuff. Come here. Come here. Come here. Let's see if you got to go get a bag. Come here. No, he don't smell that bad. I don't know what he's been rubbing in, though. Ain't much telling about it. You know, we take things. Animals and try to make them tame. You know, that wildness in an animal's always there. Ain't much you can do about it. But you know I turned that, let that uh, soaker hose run this morning and everything just dry as it can be now. Wind coming out of the north, drying everything out. Come on, Scooter. Good. Come on. He find something else to eat. I don't know what he finds to eat around here. Scoot. And you know what thing? Get him in the house and he won't eat nothing but meat. Very finicky. Out here he'd eat anything he's big enough to eat. kind of way it is, ain't it? I know I, when I was a kid, I used to go to 
visit my aunt <clears throat> visit my aunt and uncle or somewhere or my cousins you know and go we'll spend the night with them or just somebody from school spend the night with them and I'd go over there and eat all kind of stuff that I wouldn't eat at home. Plugging these lights up, might get a little chilly tonight. Got some heat lamps. There, Scooter. What you been eating? So he don't know, but it was good. That's all he knows. So I ain't gonna press on that too much. But anyway, I got three chickens keep getting out every day. I got a clipper of wing. But anyway, we're gonna go out here and feed the chicken. I just wanted to walk let y'all walk around with me out here today. I ain't cleaning. Somebody's cleaning that up over on that back. They got that. I don't know what's on front of that. I call it a backhoe, but it must be some kind of machine to cut them trees down and rush down and all that. Because he sure got it cleared up out there. I don't know if you can see him back. So, ooh, see him back there in the distance. Chicken's ready to eat. You see him back there? Clean that pipeline up. I'm going to walk out there and look at them turnip bottoms, them greens. I got some. Look big. There might be a mess out there to eat. Speaking of eating, there goes Scooter again eating something. I don't know what it is. Well, he's playing with it now. Maybe he won't eat it. Anyhow, it's popping the garden. Signing off. See y'all later.